As a public health officer in Northern California, Dr. Tony Eiten is one of the nation's frontline defenders against threats like the H1N1 flu virus. The CDC has yet to confirm his county's first case, but already, he says, his safety nets hit a snag. The swine flu is, is definitely a test. It's like a stress test to our emergency response system in, in public health. And I would say that, you know, we've got a little heart disease. Tough economic times forced Alameda County to slash 56 physicians from its payroll this year, one of several cuts that have whittled down Dr. Eiten's department from 650 positions to just over 500. So is he prepared for a more severe outbreak? Our ability to respond today is not what it was in 2004, 2005. And across a nation in recession, much the same story. In 2008, local health agencies absorbed $300 million in cuts from state, local, and federal funding. More than half lost employees, a total of 7,000 jobs throughout 2,800 local health departments. We often don't notice the local health department and, until something goes wrong. And, and nothing catches the public's attention like the threat of a pandemic. Despite only one fatality and at least 160 cases of the flu confirmed in the U.S., more than 430 schools have closed in 18 states, affecting some 245,000 children. 22 seniors who showed no signs of the flu were barred today from the graduation ceremony at Slippery Rock College in Pennsylvania because they visited Mexico recently. All for a flu weaker so far than conventional strains. Andrew Ryan is New York's deputy public health commissioner. He's managing the largest outbreak in the country on a tightened budget. $28 million was reduced to $23 million from the federal government this year. Ryan's emergency preparedness staff has dropped from 240 to 200. He's made up the difference by reassigning 100 employees from other units. But local health departments are staffed with highly trained epidemiologists, microbiologists, and nurses. The fewer the specialists, the slower the response. So we're sort of dodging the bullet on this one, if you will. But had it not been um, such a mild disease, I think we would have been in some trouble. Since flu viruses come in cycles, this relatively light round may act as a sort of dry run for public health officials, allowing them the chance to analyze and shore up any shortfalls before the next wave hits. Jeff? Okay, Michelle Miller in New York. Michelle, thank you tonight.